next match, this is going to be NRG versus Complexity. The top part should update, I think, in a minute here. So uh, don't mind that too much. But we are going back into the match itself. Little Man is not to be seen here in the current form of uh, the current form of the energy roster. So I'm assuming Mitch is his replacement for today. I don't know if that's a permanent change they made. But I guess we'll find out. Anyway, into the match we go. And the top has updated, like I said before. So that should be uh, that should be all good. Nope. Oh, okay. Warden. Oh, this is like the this is like the coach slot bug or whatever. I think they fixed it though. So just a little delay getting started. Now we can finally go live with the match. Let's get it. Is NRG versus Complexity. This is map number one here on Cash. Both of these teams fighting for a slot at DreamHack Valencia coming up in just a few weeks. And to start things off, well, Complexity is going to be going over to the T side. And they start off immediately with a very fast mid to B sort of pinch here using the halls as well. And they find Mitch right at the start. Goodbye to him. Dap's probably not going to last much longer either. He was already low when he got pushed on there taken out by Def, and that is pretty much full control of the site. Already gone to Complexity. The other three working their way over for a retake, but the options are very limited here. They have one flashbang sitting on Peter along with a kit for him, uh, but besides that, that's all they really have, and they don't have a flank position lined up over towards over towards the events or over towards the other hall, so it's a very straightforward uh, retake that they're going to try to go for here, it's just that it's not going too well at the start of it. One for one trade, not necessarily the best thing in the world. Especially considering that they had killed the guy in trigger room, so Death was able to push forward. Peter, again, trades that kill, but he's completely outnumbered at that point, and they know where he's positioned at, so Slummy can peek back out, take him down, and there we go. Complexity takes control of the pistol to start off this map, and they immediately go for the big buys. Uh, two SMGs, two AKs. Slummy still yet to buy here. And yeah, he ends up going for the UMP, too. Uh, energy, the usual second round force, PTR. Just gets himself a deagle as he's looking to save the op, save for the op on the first gun run. And moving in next in a minute here. Complexity should see themselves moving in for a little bit of mid control there. Just taking it nice and slow as we've come to normally expect in these second rounds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Leary's correct in there in the chat that energy is essentially just NRG, the word, but abbreviated. I could be wrong, though. Peter, moving forward, though, actually does catch a first kill, and there's quite a bit of positive aggression working out here for energy. Really well weighed out. They picked up three kills seemingly out of nowhere. Now the remaining two players for the complexity side are stuck in those B-Halls with no clean path to actually get into the site and get the bomb onto the ground, but they still have to do it. Thankfully, time is something that they do have quite a bit of still with 50 seconds remaining on the clock to try and toy around with, taking it very safe in the event a player tries to lurk in from checkers there, smoking it back off. One sitting on the site almost catches them off guard. In fact, the second one from heaven does do the job quite well. Mitch moves in, kills those last two players, and secures the trade round for NRG. I am 90% positive that that is what it is. So that, in respect, takes us into our next round here with Complexity Forcing and five Deagles. So the Deco round coming in for them with armor. So it's a relatively well-bought Deco round, but we'll have to see if they can actually get anything done with it. Starting to push their way back in. There's Desi with the first pickup moving in past Toxic. He's now hiding behind the pole. Breeze knows he's there, so he does get the quick trade, but he's also tagged before uh, he's actually able to pick up that kill, which means now he'll get traded out by Def. And the T's move in. Great shots from Android. Never want to underestimate that guy with a Deagle. And all of a sudden, this will go down to a 4v2. 
trying to outspray Def over here. But he's allowed to safely back up an Android again with another beautiful headshot on the Deagle. Just destroys PTR. And now only Mitch is left alive. No 1v3. Trying to lurk his way forward into the site. Hopping over, gets a position, doesn't check his backside though. Now he's really confused. What? How? Okay. Amazing that he sort of stays alive as long as he does. But Android does succeed in picking up that final kill. Uh, securing himself the second round for his team there. And the trade back, of course, that keeps them in an economical advantage for the time being. As I'm... Well, usually I'd be sure that Energy would aggressively rebuy back in here. But actually, uh, they're going to take it quite passively. They only go for their upgraded pistols. That's it. They don't try to fully force up just to keep this advantage. Uh, they know that if this goes on for long enough, then Complexity is still eventually going to end up with a much better advantage. Simply because they're on T side and the, uh, the War of Attrition favors them. And ultimately, with these upgraded pistols, as you can uh, see, they don't really get much done. It's already down to just Fugly and Daps. And sticking into the B-bomb site. Daps trying to hit some shots. No connections, though. Fugly, however, on the lurk. Oh, nice. One tap on the CZ and a second one. Now his teammates lurking back in. They've got this last guy isolated. However, they've taken down Daps, so it's just Fugly left alive here. And he'll finally meet his match against Android. They're on the MP7. Yeah, finesse is is the same thing as energy. It's just finesse shortened. Anyway, end of the next save run for energy. Complexity taking it very slowly, but with good positioning here and a slight lack of aim power for Mitch there on the CZ. Does allow for these guys to sneak into the site. PTR escaping with one kill. However, that's going to be the only one he is able to escape with. Well, at the end of the day, it just leaves Daps alive with the 1v4. Not a whole lot that he can do. Desi, I think, died on the site, so I'm pretty sure there's not really a chance for his gun to get picked up. So at best, you're going to expect Daps to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just take up a position somewhere where he maybe can get an exit, uh, and then look for that kill since he only has the uh, since he only has the CZ, no armor or anything else. So it's not really worth fully staying alive if he has a choice in the matter. Yeah, complexity smart. They know that the. Uh, I realize that that garage over there is going to be a complete clusterfuck if they try to push over towards that. But Dops not able to sneak anything else off. Oh yeah, what is that on? It's like Twitch chat in game. Yeah, yeah, I turned off. Well, now, with energy having the full investment, double op set up two. They are going to prepare for this A hit. Complexity looking to lurk their way over here too. Molly's and everything going over to control the site. Fugly from up on top and Breeze hugging the corner. Completely flashed out by the time he is recovered. For, excuse me, completely killed out I should say by the time he actually recovers from that flashbang. 
and really just doesn't get a whole lot going for himself there. So Complexity end up with the site under their control. Not a whole lot of real estate to work with, though. Still smoked out to a pretty big degree. Great support on the flash to let Fugly get back into that fight. Picks up an additional frag. He knows there's at least one more sitting inside of A main, so his teammates are going to try and push forward. He just runs fork? What? But they haven't made a whole lot of progress yet, and now Android picks up not one but two additional kills, leaving just the offers alive, and only one of them now remains. It's PTR looking to maximize his damage and still somehow win out this 1v2 situation, but it's not going to happen, and he's well on his way back down the highway now to try and save that weapon for the next round. Not before striking down one additional player, however. Def does get eliminated at the end there. Is the quality really that bad? It should be... Oh, hmm. It should be... Bit rate's a little low. Hold on. I think I can turn that up without resetting the stream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, guys? I just realized I'm using the wrong codec for this. Yeah, I'm not using the right streaming codec. That also explains why my uh, why my CPU usage is so low. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll fix it at halftime real quick, guys. While Peter has that one save, yeah, yeah what, what I'm streaming. The problem is I'm using the uh, that like Nvidia codec, not the not the normal H two six four codec. So the Nvidia one is great for just recording raw files. It's just not that great for live content, unfortunately. I think I was recording a video or something like that, and I uh, forgot to switch it back the other day. Oh, Fugly! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh, oh no, he's out of ammo. <laughs> Fuck, I was getting some work done there for a second. Uh, it does go down to the 1v3, though, so you should expect complexity to close I out. I that guy, too. Uh, I don't know how God, this guy fucking Fuck my luck. Hey, what's up, Daniel? I think in the meantime, I can turn up the bitrate a little bit. Uh, just to help with that. What's uh? I'll just I'll just set it up to like five thousand. Hopefully uh, it doesn't lag. All right. I kicked up the bit rate a little bit there. So maybe that'll help with it a tad. Oh wait, does it not? Oh my god, nice shot from Peter. Takes down Desi there as well, right at the end of it. So, still holds on, keeps that up, and does a massive amount of damage. Considering that that was the only real gun they had in that entire round, that's still really great that Peter got that much damage in. They're probably actually not too upset uh, with the outcome of that round there. The players are the players are talking when they're dead because there's like a split communication channels after they die. So after they die, the only people that can hear them talking are their coach and anyone else on the team that's already dead. So it doesn't like disturb people in their their actual like team speaker mumble. Complexity looking to line up the B push here in a second. They're keeping the bomb still back outside of A main here on Def's perspective. But Android, oh, nicely played. Oh, ho, ho. Android just completely destroys the entire B site setup. I was watching for Fugly there. And now PTR lurking back That's in fun. was. I don't know. Hoping, I think, to kill the A lurker, but there's not a whole lot left they can do. He probably would have just come into my crosshair eventually, but... No, I shouldn't have fell off.
Android's probably one of, uh, in my opinion, probably one of the best dealers in NA. I said, done from Desi. One more will go down. Breeze being dispatched of. And now just Peter. Oh no. Desi and Surreal stack up at the end there. So they give him the double. And then he spins around for the triple. Can he get the quad? No, nah, Slummy bails out there. Doesn't want to give him the free ace. But still, Peter continuing to rack up these uh, these post round kills. It's given him quite a healthy scoreline now. He's up at 14 5. Whereas his next teammate down is Fugly at 6 7. A uh, little man not here. Not entirely sure why. There might be a tweet from a, one of the players or something like that that explains if you want to go looking. Death already looking to push himself over the edge here and take that early mid control. Complexity really at this point in time can do no wrong. They've made this mistake three rounds in a row where they've gone hunting for a last player and ended up with only one man alive. So their economy is actually in a pretty crappy shape right now. But they still managed to win these rounds. So I, I guess as long as they're winning the rounds, then uh, they're probably not too worried about those deaths. Is they seem to get to the point where they actually win the round pretty handily. Like, the problem is it always ends up being brought down to, like, a 3 or 4v1. And that's when they mess it up, when the last guy on energy is already, like, halfway across the map saving. And he obviously can't do anything about the retake, even if he kills everyone. I'm not gay. Anyway, Slummy moves in and once again, as we've been seeing before, finds a very quick first entry here for his team. The rest of the CTs are starting to swarm around. Def had a nice position back in mid though. See the X's on the minimap. Picked up that one kill there and cut off one of the rotators. Knows that there's a second one. They're lurking around vents of the T-Hall so they can account for that. Ooh, not the best positioning from Desi as he does kind of crab walk right into PTR's scope. And that was almost a connection, I think, on the no scope there. A little off the marker. There a little bit too much terrain, but a good pop flash. Puts him right back in his place towards the corner. And Fugly trying to stay alive here. Trying to stay a part of this retake puzzle. Since they still have the capability to do it. Finally, Peter's going to walk in. and Oh, no. Nobody's watching for it, but he misses that shot. They still don't realize what's happening. But all of a sudden, Fugly, Peter, and Fugly again sneak off those three kills. And now, Energy is going to be able to pick up another round. Finally, bringing things up to two to seven. one way to make it interesting. Anyway, like I said before, complexity, their money wasn't really that great, so they're going to get this one more buy. However, they drop this one, and they're in eco territory immediately after having, how many rounds was that? Six rounds straight. ETR still trying to hang out. Jeez, dude. Sorry, my like house just moved. PTR is still positioned and waiting if there is going to be some sort of a mid to B hit. Complexity have been real big fans of trying to move in and take control of mid. 
This time, though, now energy started to catch on to it and have started to put their players in some ideas and positions to look to kind of counter that out a little bit. Ultimately, Cold still gets the mid control, but it's at a cost. They lose Android. But they also do great damage to Fugly. Peter got tagged for like 25 at some point in the round here. Peter is alone on the B site, though, and the T's do not have utility to break him out. That's the big issue here. They've got one Molly, one Smoke, and a couple flashes, which may or may not hit. Peter is the big player to take down. He always gets tested in situations where it has very little impact on the actual outcome of the round so far. Now he's in a situation where he could actually impact the round. And unfortunately, he goes down, over peaks a little bit there, and is caught out by Def in the middle. Tried to re-peak it, but was too late at that point. And Daps going in just in the nick of time, finds that kill onto Surreal. Desi trading it back, however, outside of the site, finds a frag on a breeze. Now just Fugly and Daps remain, but they have a combined HP of 20, with 19 of that being on one player. Yeah, well. Might not even be worth it to go for this, but okay. <laughs> Fugly, very a bit, a bit of a ballsy move, just leaps well, in how did he get out? through heaven, <laughs> goes all the way through so checkers, wow. <laughs> and somehow makes it all the way out of the site. <laughs> this is my bad. My round. So yeah, two saves. Uh, can't really... Oh, they could probably drop from losses for Fugly and Das if they wanted to. Yeah, so they're going to drop a... I need to see how this ends up panning out. I think everybody has a gun on the CT side, so it actually worked out okay. Oh, no, Mitch didn't. I thought, I thought there was another UMP in there for Mitch, but apparently not. Well, it still ends up with a Deagle. So pretty easy buy, all things considered. Just kind of pushing the envelope a little bit in the sake of trying to make a comeback happen, and they pay the price for it because they also got pretty aggressive on B. My bad. So unfortunate, man. Yeah. So we're looking to have some fun with that tag through the wall. No luck with it, though. Other than that, everything is pretty well lined up for complexity yeah, here. Same. 5v3, no great positions for energy so to reach. They can't even get access to T-Halls or anything like that. Uh, what's my favorite flightless bird? Probably the uh, chickens. They taste good. I've never had an ostrich egg, no. Turkey's good too, yeah. Turkey's actually really good. Turkey is like uh you need a you need it cooked the right way though. Anyway. A lot of more important business. Energy trying to get aggressive again. <laughs> okay. Kind of. Fuck, I should have killed him. Fuck, I did like 62. Kind of works. Fuck, I whipped hard on his back. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I whipped too. I'm sorry. Ultimately, though, complexity still is in full control of the situation. Breeze tries to impact back over there behind the forklift, but can't get anything done. And for Fugly, well, he's pretty far detached from all of this action, so he's going to be way over here inside of checks. With uh, not a whole lot that he can do here. Same situation as before. Best hope for him is to just post up. Hope he gets a couple of additional kills and a little bit of extra money. Drop me not best uh, for himself and obviously against the enemy team. I try to get an opening somewhere. Probably today. They really don't go. I mean, they're early unless they're going A. Like the two, two times they went there. They went, like had a guy back door. If I have a good spawn, I'm gonna go door here. Try to get. The if we entry. don't give, if we don't go for a, they usually go mid. They have like two, they've had a lot of people sitting yeah, outside. Yeah, we B. just got unlucky the last uh, the last round. Of the game be. Well, Fugly getting a little bit done here in the one v four, trying to pick up some more kills. Only gets that one, but hey, at the very least, better than nothing. Finds that one additional pickup costs his opponent a tad bit of cash. It's just unfortunate that it means not very much with the money that Cole now has and how late we're getting into the half. 
But still, not really much else he could have done there besides try to get that damage done, so. Can't really fault him for it. Uh, I pow by. Since these are more casual streams. Sorry. Uh, since these are more casual streams, I usually leave the dead talk stuff on. Just for entertainment purposes. Starts it on 1 1 with the trades. But, ooh, I think that op might have doubled or possibly tripled. I didn't really get to see how Def and Cyril got brought down that low, but looks like they got wrecked by an op. So, so someone might have just hit a god shot again. Oh, there's PTR with another pickup. He's up to two so far. Looking for another one. He is going to be able to get it. Ends up with a 3k at the end of the round. Now it's up to Breeze to hold on here. Not going to be much holding on to do, though, as they've already found themselves like feeling whippy right now. one of the two remaining players. Just surreal left over. You don't get to get out pretty quickly by Daps at the end of the round. Uh, yes, this is a best of three. Peter's not that old. There's no way he's that old. Peter's like 25 max. Nah, I'm 22. Is he really 27? Holy shit. Anyway, great push from energy, working their way inside of A-Main. They find that one kill. Android trying to fight it back. He's been good in these pressured situations in the past, just not this one right here. Does get taken down by Fugly, and again gives energy a nice little advantage to work off of here. The 4v2, the guy's on call, really trying to scramble now that their bomb is down on the ground. This is when things really tend to fall apart. But Desi, with that one kill, as long as they weigh this properly, they could still bring it back. 35 seconds at this point in the round, actually a decent amount of time to play with. However, Desi goes in, finds himself dead, and Def is also dead not long after that. With Daps picking up the final kill, it's energy up to four going into the final round of the half. Yeah, Taz is. I just didn't think Peter was that old. No, I've never... Actually, I did, like, once or twice, like, two years ago, but I never really did a lot of betting stuff. Oh, PTR in. <laughs> There's the place from him. He definitely spotted the shoulder of, like, two or three other players, too. So, already have the rotate on the way from mid. Complexity has to bail out. And probably going to hesitate in mid for a few seconds here while they think about how they want to play this now. Now that they got scouted and they lost a man this early. Breeze sitting back now. Kind of swing back in. Destroyed by Def, though. Nicely shot by him. And all of a sudden, well, the team's going to be swinging a hell of a lot towards that direction. As it's just Fugly sitting here to defend it. And he's put himself right out in the open. Where Def, oh, actually, I thought it was going to be surreal on the flank. But Def, just on point here. Solo taking the site. He's got it under full control she for just, his team now. Flash, she just runs out. And Mitch in a bit of a bad spot, but thankfully that smoke helped him out quite a bit. He is able to take down Desi. Still a lot of work to do. Spots that wraparound from Cyril. They know they've got him sitting oh, behind the shed, and he really doesn't have a safe path to go anywhere further back. So they just need someone at the truck position, and they can find him out in the open. I'll try to pop flash over. Daps didn't see it. Completely blind. Still holds on, though, and gets the kill over Cyril. Bringing things down to a 3v2. Time getting low. I think they're just over halfway past the ticker point. Def holding on for one. Goes in for two now against PTR. Gets that kill. It loses his teammate, but he's still alive in this 1v1. His Daps is going to start to push forward. Go for the defuse. He needed to hit it right there. Even with this kill, he does not have enough time left. So it's going to be a round for complexity as they close it on the half with 11.
Not anything already readied up, so we should go right into the second half. There we go. Oh wait, I meant shh, this is when... Well, they started so quickly. I was supposed to change that right now. My bitrate's set to 5k, actually, believe it or not. What is that? USP? That thing is cool as hell. I want one of those. Anyway. the I'm using the wrong, like, codec right now. I did change the bitrate. The bitrate's set to 5k. It's just not, like, working because it's on the wrong codec. You have to change... You have to restart your stream to start, restart the codec or change the codec, so... Nice solo coming out from Complexity, though. Desi doing work, dodging bullets over there. Problem is, his Android's gonna get cut off from the top side. Didn't realize that they got checks control that quickly, but Slemmy coming in from the backside himself tries to get some work done. However, he's eliminated right out from that fight. Thankfully, his teammates held off the situation, brought Fugly along with Daps, really low. Daps, Sorry, as you dude. can very well see, has already been taken care of. And now Fugly trying to work off of his position here. Missed that spot from heaven, but thankfully didn't get tagged just yet. Now he's looking for a response against Def here. Ultimately, have to make the impossible happen if he wants to have a hope in the world of putting a fifth round onto the board for energy so they can get a strong start to this half. His only bit of utility goes out. It doesn't really get much oh, done. Bro. And the side. <laughs> This round continues, eventually. There we go. Surreal finally hits that kill, taking out Fugly, and we do end up with Complexity at a strong position, 12 to four in their favor. Yeah, like I said, guys, as soon as uh, we get to a point where there's like a long pause or something like that, and I can actually restart the stream, I will do it. Uh, it's just like I said, I'm using the NVIDIA codec right now, which isn't the best for live streaming. Uh, I have to switch over to the H.264 one as soon as I can here. I just forgot, I was recording some footage the other day. And I forgot to switch it back. And Breeze not doing too hot currently. Someone in the chat did just mention. Energy. Able to brute force the way out. Remember, they did have this uh, this crazy little spree last half, too. This time, looks like Def going to try to hold. He's got to be careful, though. Player up on top almost took him out, but Cyril came in for the assist. Now he's going to swing in. Picking up one, picking up two. Peter responded oh, with a so trade, fun. but now he's the LMS... Trying to stay alive from back behind that smoke, but okay, gets one more. However, Def with a fadeaway pistol headshot closes out and makes sure complexity controls as he gets a nice 4K. No, I don't have a delay on the stream right now. Great spray from Surreal, right in the mid. Taking out PTR. Rest of energy. Really just trying to force the uh, force the envelope here in mid and push the envelope. But Surreal doing some nice work, even if he does get traded. Ooh, Def in a bit of a rough spot too. <laughs> Stays alive though. It's just. <laughs> That's how you set up for trades, folks. Nicely played by uh, Complexity there, trying to minimize the damage against themselves as they do fend off that rush pretty handily. And now this takes us onto Energy's first and possibly only real full gun round that they might have in this half should they lose it. Now I have to double check to... Uh, to make sure. I'm not sure if there's only one slot, like there has been before, which I think might be the case. Available for any, which means we'd have one more game, or if they're going to, uh, or if they're going to have two slots, which means the semifinals here, with the tournament, who gets to go. I think it's only one slot, which means that these teams have to play at least one more match after this, but I have to double check. 
Ultimately, though, in the gun round itself, Energy end up swinging their players after a few trades go off. Swinging their players over here towards the V-bomb site, where Def actually, if he gets this kill, it's great, but he didn't get it, and now he's got to run. He's going to be right in the open. No way he survives that. Spot. He'll go down with only a little bit of traded damage on a PTR to show for it. And now Android sits over here trying to fend it off. His teammate sits just a few inches away. Great nade. Knocks off pretty much max damage in the daps there. Surreal. Ooh, what? That sounds a little bit to the left there. He misses that off shot and it gets taken down by Dap, so just Android now, and I think more likely he's gonna fall back, grab that up, and save. We shouldn't buy it. Just see, go on after. Could I, we should. I mean, we should definitely buy, because we're gonna <laughs> double save if not, right? Yeah. Our money. I'm gonna wall back. In fact, I can afford. We do go into the next buy here, and as you were hearing in the dead comps, uh, complexity does force into this one a little bit, ending up with the double ops setup. Desi having to go down to a deagle himself. And energy looking like they're going to go in in a moment here into a straight execute out onto the A-bomb site. Desi, Slemmy, both playing together at the moment. Looking for their patch to get themselves into the open. Desi, nice lineup. Gets one. Gets great damage onto a second. And you'll see he gets that assist. However, it's been evenly traded back by energy. Only brought down to a three versus three. Slammy, next up to bat in the NBK spot, but he falls down. Dinks his opponent, though, bringing Fugly down to nine. And for Surreal, he'll be next up to bat looking to move in. However, Def is not far behind. Also lurking his way back up through to the highway. As Def looks for a kill. Now, he's going to have to bring the skill as he does lose his teammate there, trading one more back. Knows he's got another guy back in quad somewhere, but I think he missed the Q on Peter going up top. He suspected it, though, and had to double check for it. Gets the one kill. He was one bullet away from a win, but he whiffed it. Missed that shot onto Fugly and ends up going down to him as energy secure themselves a sixth round. Send a text message real quick. Okay, sorry. Anyway, complexity just on a deco round, so. Very quiet deco round, I should mention, too. We're a little over 50 seconds into the round, and uh, with the exception of that kill and a death, pretty much nothing's happened yet. Energy looking to push themselves into the site here. Desi able to hold, however, for that first kill. Maybe more to come as he's been unchallenged. There's Surreal with the long-range tag. Good trades from Mitch, Peter, and Mitch again, though, brings the situation back under the control of NRG. And Peter hits that last shot to close out on the round.
I mean, it shouldn't look, like I said, it shouldn't look that much better. It definitely is under quality. I'll change it back down to the, the H.264 stuff. As soon as, uh, well, one of these teams wins. I was hoping we'd have complexity closing out by now, but it seems like it's not the case. Energy wanting to make a little bit of a comeback on us. And look at this push right through mid as the big play from the CT side on this round. They push forward. Surreal a little bit too happy to push forward, however, and does find himself dead a moment later, so they only end up trading one for one. They do, however, throw energy away from mid quite a bit, which is, unless they want to re-execute and try to take these guys down, probably going to end up funneling energy through just a couple of routes here. Continuing to challenge Mitch, this long-range duel does not really pay off too well. He gets some reinforcements, and even though he does die out a second later, well, ultimately, energy still get the advantage to play off of as they bring things down to a 3v1. Just death left alive here now, and he's already been spotted out. Peter, just a little bit of trouble closing out. Knows he legged him there. He's that last shot. Nope. Oh, there no. you go. <laughs> Does finally take him down. Um, I'm from California. Miser. Well, Energy's going to start to the, set themselves forward for a pretty quick setup with these two guys to try and push with a little bit of pressure into the B-bomb site. Surreal looking to defend. Got tagged, though. Oh, man. This is a rough patch for Surreal right now. And he didn't even realize that Fugly crept right in. Grabs Surreal, grabs Android, Def, Desi, and Slummy. All just sitting on the outside there, and they get taken down. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Bomb has been planted. Sorry, I I did a bunch of reinstallation on my PC recently, and I forgot to turn off all the usual stuff I do for streaming. Anyway, Metergy with the full control of the site, they get the plant. Uh, not really a whole lot of that complexity is in a position to do here. So as you can see, they are kind of just chilling outside of the site, hoping to find a exit or two, if they can. Oh, not that one. Mitch is going to take down Def right there. Uh, try to move forward to hunt a little bit more, but I think he's going to be just short. Oh, he did find him, but like I said, just short on time of actually being able to kill Desi. A pause comes in, however, and I believe this time it's going to be from Cole. They've been this close for how many rounds now? Yeah, it's been a five-round streak, so Cole is on max losing bonus. They just need that one or two, technically, winning straps uh, to be able to push them into a position where they can win this map and get a nice little 1-0 start. Stunny, you don't control the stream here. I'm just waiting for the unpause now. It might actually be a tech issue if it's this long. That are just online pause rules which just don't exist. <laughs> there we go. Alright, back into the action here now. And we'll see if uh, Complexity finally has the strat to close out. May not happen on this round since, uh, since they are just going to be on CZs and some M4s. But we will see.
over to mid. Slemmy is here. He's out in the open, though. Rough patch to try and take battles from. So Mitch is going to knock him out. And with that suspicion, they are going to molly back over towards the sandbag. Spray like hell into that smoke on the right side. Already taking out, interestingly enough, both of the players with M4s and full utility. So <laughs> there couldn't be much of a worse start for Cole. As they end up losing their two biggest ticket items within the first, like, 15 to 20 seconds of the round. Daps tapping away, trying to finish things off here now. And they bring it down to deaf and surreal. What kind of memes you want, Stunna? There needs to be meme potential. There we go. Well, moving into the next round here. I think this will end now. I have verified. Nice job for Peter. Does catch the, uh, the jump up from death there. Try to be sneaky, but nowhere near sneaky enough. Not the plan from energy, as they are actually trying to get things together here. Still have plenty of time, so no rush for them. Uh, I don't know where Little Man is. I guess someone said he was like playing PUBG or something on his Steam account. I, I don't know, maybe... Maybe he's just got a couple vacation days. He's using them, man. Slemmy, swinging back in, finds Daps to start things off in the battle for mid. But Mitch moves in, has the support of a great flashbang. He doesn't have to worry about a player further back and just didn't have the spray control to really take down Desi. Only loses one HP, and I'm not even sure if that was from Mitch. Now brings things down into a three on two. Desi, the timing so far has been good for him. Plug looking back, but he is caught with a nade in hand. So he goes down for free. Peter, though, just waltzes right into the trade on Desi. And now only one remains. It's going to be Android. Energy picks up that last kill, and now they sit... Just three rounds away from being able to close out. Well, not close out, but being able to tie up the map, excuse me. And then try to close out themselves. I don't actually know if it was that lag. Don't don't count it yet. That might have just been me. Unless there's just like a really long delay on this server. No, 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 no. Don't ruin it, everyone. Yeah, dude's probably, like I said, dude's probably got a vacation day. He told the, uh, he told the team manager he needed, like, he needed to day off. Oh, fuck, he's going to catch Desi first off. Energy's still playing this super, super slow lead up to their hits, too. Just kind of hanging around mid, and they all they just all of a sudden explode across the map. Once They usually get right around this time marker. So, as you can see now, they're pushing in B-Hall. Slummy with the tag? It's not an op, though. It's just a little scout. So, only tags in one tags a second. There's the first kill. Hold on now. Finds that one. And now they've got a flank coming around their backside too. Def could do some massive damage here in a second. Let's see if Def's going to be able to find anything. As the team is still solid. Oh no, look at Def though. He missed the Q. He missed the Q on the rotate. Def's going to move in. He's going to see that no one's here. By the time the rest of the team realizes it, these guys are already going to be all the way out onto the A-bomb site. Breezy finds those two kills. Takes out Slummy and Android. And now just Surreal and Def are left alive here. A 2v4. And already Surreal is dead. It's up to death now. Bomb has been planted. Oh, 
Pushing himself over towards the dwarf position first. Just He's got Mitch it. first off, but not going to happen. Mitch takes him down, and energy does close out, bringing it up to 12. Just two away from the time. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't been doing... I, I, I probably know the co most of the commands you're going to send me, so said. I did see your Steam message, by the way. I haven't been ignoring you. I just uh, haven't replied to it yet. I hope I don't need a better microphone, dude. This microphone's very expensive. I probably just have the, the settings for it all wrong on my on my board. Like, what's the one? Uh, bindings, yeah, yeah, the bindings one. I'll do that in a second. Hold on. I'll, they're about to execute, which is why I haven't done it yet. But. I have a lot of th things to fix. Yeah, I'm gonna fix the vid quality too. Everybody calm down. There's a lot, you guys are asking a lot of me right now. One to one trades, energy finds a second at the hands of Bugly and leaps over the flames to pick up another one. Down to Android and Slemmy as Complexity's chances at actually closing out on this map continue to sink further and further into the realm of fantasy. The last two, not even going to make an attempt at a retake. They go back, they call the save, and energy pushes forward up to 13 now. Now I can change that command. Uh, bindings. Wait, no. I, like, just haven't done this in such a long time. I can't remember the commands. They do lose Slemmy. So, only one remains. And it's Android. I don't really think they're going to check for him here, though. So, he should be good. What is the... What's the bindings one? Someone type it. If someone types the binding ones, I'll remember the stat ones. So to hide the bindings here. It's like, is it CL? Ah, there it is. CL spec bindings. That's what I was figuring. Spec. Wait, that's not it. Show, show bindings. That's it. CL spec stats is the other one. Yeah, there we go. Now I remembered it. See? There we go. Much cleaner. Interesting buy working its way out from complexity now. Death and Slemmy double scouts. Can't say that's a common thing I've seen before. Uh, Android's the only one that really ends up being fully bought, and he's going to be tested right at the front of this fight. Somehow, he's, okay, I thought he was in the smoke, but apparently the molly still spread to him as he must have been partially outside of it. Peter gets that first kill. <laughs> I mean, Android's still struggling to keep himself alive up on the site there, but just really can't get much done. Yeah, was completely surrounded. The molly was a little weird. I kind of agree with him there, too. And ultimately, energy just kind of waltzes over this round. They're going to go 14-14. I smoke at my feet, and I'm getting burned still. I just sit in my smoke. This has been a, actually a uh, pretty intense comeback. It's going to start at 11-4. And the fact that Cole won the first three rounds. So how many rounds is this straight now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 rounds straight. That was the 10th round right there. I mean, this is Cole's last chance to win it in regulation. Otherwise, they're going to have to run a comeback now and uh, take it to the tie. Energy, even if even if Cole does win this round too, this is the worst part, is Energy could just go for some ludicrous buy on the final round. Since they have essentially infinite money. Oh, Cyril getting tagged too. Right at the start. Bully buy one of the ops. So he's going to be down at 29 HP after that, and will not be able to defend mid so actively any further. In the meanwhile, the rest of energy is still sitting back. What is... Uh, oh, Fuggy is watching from that top spot. I mean, Energy knows what's on the line here, so they're just playing it really carefully. And Daps, speaking of really carefully, almost finds himself dead on the ground at the one of the CT opera's hands. 
Energy gonna have to move themselves into a good position soon, however. Time is getting a little bit low, considering what point they're at here for their actual setup. But finally, we will start to see them move over towards the B-bomb site. And over to execute out. Android again is going to be your man to defend things. He kind of got screwed over in the last round because of what happened right there, where his smoke didn't put out that molly properly or the positioning was weird. Now, though, it worked, though. So he can get out. He can take these fights. Finds one. Finds two. Desi and Death also doing quite a bit of work as Complexity finally closes out in the round and in the exact fashion they needed it to happen, too. They do end up keeping every single player alive. So if any of them did end up going down, they still could have full bought for that guy going into this last round here. And energy, like I said before, did have that infinite amount of money to work through, so they're just going to rebuy right back into the double op setup with everyone having, like, pistol upgrades and everything, too. So there you go. Well, energy's last chance. The slow play game didn't really work out for them, so maybe a faster-paced option will be what they need. Surreal unlucky, man. Same, I think the same exact spot he got tagged from last round. He just got tagged again. <laughs> so now he's down at 24. Second round in a row that that's happened. Uh, yeah, not too great for him. As the rest of energy... He's going to be looking to push out here in a moment. They're still keeping a relatively slow pace, though. I thought they would have gone back to the faster style, but with the double ops, you kind of have to take it a little bit slower. Really use those to try and find a couple of picks if you have any choice in the matter. But this hesitation screws so many teams over. I've seen it time and time again. Oh, energy finally moving in, but here's the problem. Pretty much everyone from Cole has already rotated over towards A. They only have Slemmy full committed to B. Android could be at Truck in like two seconds notice. So he's basically out and defending that site right now. Four-man hold here. This is going to be rough for energy now that they've been figured out. One-to-one -one trades to start it off. They are trying to firebomb the site to make it open here. Mitch can't get past the shed over there on highway though. So he gets taken out by Def. Def holds for a second, trying to go for a third. However, he's eliminated, and now Slemmy's alone in the 1v2. It's flashed out. I don't think he actually saw the flash, so shouldn't be able to read the guy in mid based on that. Still weighing out how he wants to use his nades, though. He's got pretty good combos, actually. The Molly and the HE grenade just doesn't really get used up that well, and energy does take him down. Bringing things over to 15 to 15. So overtime, and it should be relatively standard OT rules. Uh, 10k start. MR3, I believe, will be the options. Or I believe will be the game mode. Let me, uh, I'm going to try to restart the stream really quickly, guys. Give me a second. Actually, nope, can't do it because they're starting. <laughs> Thought I'd have a minute there. Let's jump into it now. NRG's splitting up again here. They're trying to force their way over towards B. Surreal with the first big kill though. Def with another one. Somewhat aggressive positions working out quite all right for complexity here in this round. Daps also getting pegged down quite a bit with that spray coming in through the smoke over at B. Last two, trying to get something done at A main. Def actually misses his shot and PTR responds in kind with a kill of his own. So the first... A little bit of a strike back coming in there for NRG. Still a lot of makeup to be done. However, for some reason, the Android didn't really account for Daps to still be in checkers, even though it looked like they shot at him directly. Must have just been something that they didn't really realize had happened. Great shot from Peter on the run. Takes down Slemmy. And now they're going to go straight over to the B-bomb site. Where they will look to take control. No one left here to defend it. 
They do have Surreal sitting slightly outside, and Desi working over towards a flank, but in goes Desi, wasting no time on this retake here, but also wasting no time giving his position away. That doesn't seem to matter, though. Brings Mitch into the arena and takes him down. There's still one more to deal with. Daps as well with the trade over onto Surreal, though. Desi tries to account for it and tries to get his opponent into the open once more, but that does not pan out. So Desi now oh alone God. trying to win out this 1v2. He does finally make a fast check, so Peter is going to chase him relatively quickly out into the open where he takes him down, and Energy does take the first round here in OT. No limitations to the buy for Cole just yet, but mind you, with that 10k start money, if Cole does outright lose this round, the same way they did the last round, then they are probably going to end up with a pretty scrapped buy for the final round of the half. No, I think that's just the... I think that's just like actual server lag. I don't think that's the, the GG lag. That happened before, too. It might actually be me. Aspen's great. He's uh, sitting over to my side, sleeping. Oh. In they go. Def and Slemmy trading out a few blows. For the CT side, Mitch did escape with one pickup. However, Breeze is still on a lurking mission to solo enter onto the site, and the timing could not have been better. Walks right up, catches Slemmy looking the wrong way. Problem is, I think he's going to feel like he's safe for the rest of the site, and that's the problem. As Desi does wrap back around, takes him out for free. Fugly also got taken care of. So it's just PTR now. Trying to move in, but ends up crouching his way right into the face of Surreal. He takes him out of the picture, tying us up at 16 to 16. Thanks, David. Energy, once again, just swinging in for quick mid control here. Complexity have learned uh, better than to try and contest that, as most times they've ended up... Well, at least based on what we saw in the last half. Most times they ended up on the losing side of that battle. So they do basically just leave it open. PTR was not on Optic, as far as I can remember. Yep, Slummy is able to find out Fugly here at the start. That is just that solo lurker trying to go to the opposite side of where the actual take is happening, though. Uh, but Complexity just reads into that, so they, they've got full rotate with me. Nobody's watching mid, though, so look at this Mitch. Just walks right out, gets these two kills. Oh, the timing works out pretty poorly for him when he catches these guys moving in from Z, right? And he was just looking at that, as you saw, but ultimately backs away from it. And now it's up to the site holds themselves. A 2v2 after Daps gets that kill. However, he goes down just a moment later. And it is a 1v2 now. Android alone trying to win this one out. The scope pretty much dead, giving him away, but still hits the shot on the Absolute PTR. Bad. One more to go against Breeze. And he's taking Fuck, the that was smoke my bad, route. Fuck, Android I checking I in everywhere. He's in a good spot. Trying yeah, to find yeah, his opponent here. Breeze did sneak back out, and he has the bomb in a okay, great position. Where are you going to swing in? Finish off that kill and secure himself the second round of the half as they do close out with that lead. 17-16 and when they switch sides as well. So Energy's now going to jump over to CT. Uh, complexity over to the T side.
Can we get a quick look at how Cole messed up this lead? Um, just couldn't win gunfights most of the time. Great analysis. <laughs> Not an analyst, let's just say that. Welp. This could be it. Energy. Just needs two rounds to be able to win out this matchup here. Cole needs all three or two to tie it. Days is, uh, I don't know, man. Days is living life. The high life. He's getting swole right now or something. Really quiet at the start of this round, though. Complexity pretty much as spread out as you can be on a T-side strat here. They've got Sunroom to stop pushes. They've also got Slimmy to distract so the guy in Sunroom can get the kill. They've got the usual two outside of A main. They've got the guy lurking over towards uh, Squeaky. So this all has to come together relatively soon. Complexity is getting pretty low on time to make this execute happen, actually. And it's looking like they're going to try to fake it. See if they can pull rotates over to the other side. They need to go in, though. Energy's not going to bite on that unless they see the bomb. And it really just doesn't end up working out. Now they've only got 25 seconds to abandon the B hit, rotate everyone over to the other side of the map, and then make the A hit happen when Energy pretty much knows it's happening. Now they only left one at B, and there we go. Immediately the shutdown comes in. One, two, three, and four kills from Energy. They happen so fast, you don't even realize it. It's down to Android now. He'll escape with one more frag, but that's going to be it. Energy get themselves up to 18. Map point for them. So from 11-4 down, all the way up to 18-16 in the lead. NRG on the cusp of winning out this map here. And this is Complexity's last hurrah. They will try to move in for quick mid control. Complexity this is. And they'll succeed in getting it, but Energy's not just going to back down immediately. PTR is still here, looking for some op shots, and he's going to get one. Down will go deaf. Immediately he mollies back off the cross there. However, it gets smoked. So neither team really wanted uh, access to that. But Fugly also moving into A main, gets the kill on Desi, and that's the bomb gone down. So really all Cole has to work with is partial, well not full, control of the B-bomb site with Surreal finding that kill in the daps, uh, along with his little bit of uh, real estate back in mid. Great that they got that kill of B, great that they got full control. Problem is, is the bomb is down, and this is very easily controlled choke point. They essentially have to execute on A in order to get this bomb back. while also getting those clutch kills in A main. PTR finding Slemmy on the lurk in mid. Now all they have left is the direct A main re-aggression. One player's already gone down. The second one goes down too. So there you go. NRG close out 19, I believe, to 16 is going to be the final score there.